<clears throat> so, uh, again, going back, six month is upwards. So that's the main thing here. Monthly is not upwards or downwards because there's no upward trend and there's no downward trend. But there is demand zone being removed and pressure is to the downside. Okay. <clears throat> Weekly, there's no upward trend. There's no downward trend, but pressure is to the downside with supply recently formed that broke through the monthly demand zone. Okay. So now there's these extra elements that are, are, are you can add to the overall analysis that is telling you something. Uh, in terms of the daily chart, let me see here. Yeah, monthly is not holding. There's no weekly demand zone. So now we have a daily downtrend. With potential supply being formed. So that's decent. So we could also see price rally up and down. So we have a daily downtrend. So we have it red. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so to under understand things on a deeper level, just think about this picture here. Okay. On a six month time frame, uh, let's just put it like this. Let's, let's put it like this. Okay. You have a goal. Your goal is within five years, you want to move to Africa. Okay. You tell somebody in five years, I want to li live in Africa. Okay. That's your plan in five years. You'd like to be in Africa. Okay. So, uh, but like, have you written any goals to achieve this? Meaning what you're going to do over the next five years, like you need a long-term goal, which would be like the monthly chart. Is there a direction that you're going in with this goal? If you ask me that and I said, no, you know, I'm slightly in favor of going towards uh, Africa. Like, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I got to get, you know, uh, my house in order. I got to sell my house. Okay. Have you put your house out in the market? Have you tried to see, you know, if it's a good market? Well, I spoke to an agent and, you know, the agent's available. So there's things I have done that favor the result of me being in Africa, but it's nothing solid. It's not in play. It's not, the wheels aren't turning in that direction. You know what I'm saying? It's like what the monthly chart's doing right now on gold. It's there. You know, the pressure's there. I see evidence to suggest that we're going in that direction, but <clears throat> it's not like if I have a team in place, the market's already, <clears throat> the house is already on the market. I have a plan to rent a place because the market is at its high right now. I want to sell it for high. So that's why it's on the market now. I got my whole team helping me sell it and market it. I got a plan in place of what I'm going to rent for a, for what period of time. The lease has already been signed. When you have all that, it's like having a monthly downtrend. You know, it's all there. It's going to happen. You can put your money on it because everything is in play. You know, everything that's required to help facilitate the goal is there. <clears throat> so, you know, would you put your money on the guy that has it all worked out, that has the team, that has the plan, that has the lease, that has it all set up? Would you want to bet your money on that this guy in five years is going to be in Africa? Yeah, you would. Rather than the guy, oh, I'll sell the house, but maybe, you know, I'm kind of heading in that direction, as you can see, but I haven't had a lease yet. I'm going to still talk to the guy and see if he wants me to lease the, the house. And, you know, you hear that, you don't want to put your money towards that. So I look at the time frames like that. <clears throat> so the daily chart is like you go to the guy's house and you're like, so you're going, right? And he's like, yeah, I'm pumped. I'm going. Take a look. I got this map of Africa. 
and these are the places that I'm going to check out. It's like listening to a motivational speaker. You walk out of that room, you're like, woo You want to do everything. But that's like that momentum is short lived because you don't have the longer term momentum. You don't have the longer term drive. You don't have the, the big reasons why. You don't have the big plans in play. You're not putting energy towards those plans. Those things are lacking. So that momentum can die down. So yeah, it's all good on the daily chart. Oh yeah, we're heading south. Woohoo! It's all red. We mark this uh, daily time frame as red. It's bearish. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, but this can die off very quickly. This downward trend that looks so good, it can die down real quick. You know, but then you do have your characters that use that short term momentum to go see a motivational speaker. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. And they're just they take that downward trend. They take that momentum from that motivational speaker and they allow it to create the goals, the plans on the that are going to sustain itself over the longer period. Just like trading, just like the charts, this downward trend could help to facilitate a move lower on the weekly chart or it could break this this daily supply could break and what would that tell us well you know you've heard motivational speakers before you have listened to them right you buy the Anthony Anthony Robbins tape and it's all great and you know but then the next day you wake up and you're like yeah Anthony Robbins let me put in uh, that CD again yeah be all you can be, wake up in the morning, eat a good breakfast, do some exercises, and then you do some exercises. By the end of the week, you lose steam. Your bills come due, you know, you hear some bad news, you, you know, and you just don't follow through because it wasn't the right moment at that time. There wasn't enough steam in the engine. So then you go against that direction price rallies up loses steam but then you come into a even greater motivational speaker the greatest motivational speaker and it hits you right at the right time you know you sat down with your kids the day prior and they're like mom dad you know i would really love if we can go to uh, uh a trip to france i would love it if we can go to france or something and you get inspired and you're like ooh not only do I want to do it for me I want to do it for my kids <clears throat> and then this motivational speaker comes in and really makes an effect on you so much of an effect that you shift your momentum from going in one direction to going in the other direction and that shift mo of momentum you're doing all the right things you're doing all the right things you're creating ascending trend lines, you're shifting momentum, creating supply, retracing, refueling that need. Working on those plans, working on those goals, you're doing all the right things, creating all the right structures in your life, right? And then what happens is this momentum shift helps to facilitate a downward trend. Hey, there's a trend he's on this guy. You see that? He watched this motivational speaker. He got the, you know, he got the fuel inside of him. He's got the, the flames under his feet. He's doing the right things. He shifted the momentum from going in the wrong direction to now he's going in the right direction. He made all these plans. And now, like, this is consistent. He's consistently working towards these goals. He's creating a trend here. Yeah. Every Monday, he goes and sees his agent. You know? And he's been doing this consistently every Monday for the last three months. Oh, he's on a downward trend. I wonder if this downward trend is going to help facilitate a weekly downward trend. Because if this weekly downward trend is, 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 is going to be put into play, then that means he's putting in even more effort, more energy, putting more systems in place to help to facilitate the goal. So you see how chart analysis is just like life. What's what what you how you could perceive life is the same thing as how you perceive the charts. Seeing the similarities in the two always helps me to understand the charts that much more. To make me understand the odds, to, to make me understand why something should work or why something shouldn't work. Why there's risks in something and why there's very low risks 
when other things 